Hey, what's up, guys? And gals, all you all you ladies out there watching my videos, appreciate it. Love the support. Um, today, I'm gonna I want to talk to y'all, or you know, you know, a lot of my subs are already used to guns, have guns, carry guns, uh, but there are a lot of people that, that don't, and some people want to know, you know, what I carry, how I carry. Um, I had this guy, one of the contractors that gets me work. Um, he said he's gonna go get a CHL, and his son is too. They're both gonna do it. And I said, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna make a video on that too. And plus, I had a PM saying how I carry my Glocks or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna do a little video, and I'm gonna get to that. Um, but this, this is uh, all these guns here that you see here on this table. I've carried. Yes, I've carried a single six twenty two Magnum. Um, I was feeling Clint Eastwoodish, and I was carrying that bad boy right there. That was before I had a 9mm. Like I said, this was my first gun, um, first handgun actually, and I was carrying that one for a while. Um, it wouldn't have felt. It, it, it was, shoots every time. Uh, revolvers tend to shoot every time you pull the trigger or, you know, bring the hammer back and you're going to release it one way or another. A revolver, if it has trouble, you'll know when you're loading it. That's that's when you know when a revolver has trouble. So um, revolvers are really really reliable, and uh, they've been reliable for you know more than 100 years. So I mean hundreds, yeah, they've been around for a long time, guys. I couldn't exactly tell you how long, but I am a wheelman too. I love revolvers. I love shooting double action. I'm actually I don't know if it's just me or. Or it's just you really gotta concentrate. I shoot way better, more accurate double action than I do single action. I don't know why. It's just a really heavy trigger. Um, I like and I, and I shoot well with it. You know. Okay, so let's get to this holster right now first. This one's first on the line. Um, they're in no particular order, but I'll get to this one first. Well, they kind of are, right? Revolvers and semis, whatever. Well, this is a little revolver. Um, like I said, I have carried this, and I am a big guy. I have big, wide shoulders. You've seen me on film before, um, so I, I can get by with something like this because my shoulders are wider than my hips. So I'm kind of, you know, I guess unbalanced or something. You know, we all are. We, everybody's body shape different, but I can get by with, with carrying this. And having just a little bulge and uh, a long shirt covers it just fine. And uh, and then, you know, it's just kind of, not, not really a thumb break, but you kind of just pull that back and pull it out and cock it, you're ready to go. You know, I wouldn't want to be staring down a barrel of 22 Magnum. I wouldn't want to be staring down the barrel of 22 short. I just don't want to get shot, period. So anything is better than nothing at all but this 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 little holster it works out you know you probably won't be carrying that I don't think too many people do I just thought I'd throw that out there that I did carry that at one time um, moving on to the revolver the charter arms this is a nice little firearm it's, it's very accurate out to about I want to say eight yards I, I wouldn't push it for accuracy more than eight yards I can shoot center of mass at 16, but if, I'm, if I have to shoot something at 16, that's that threat's nowhere near me. You know, that's close to 50 feet, and you know, this gun is intended to shoot probably three yards. Um, but this is a little comfortable little holster. It is it is a Phobus. It's a it's a retention paddle holster. Um, it's got this nice little pad here that I like a lot. It's really grippy. I love this style of holster. Um, this is something that's really, really light. I mean, I want to say it's about maybe a pound and a third, a pound and very little ounces. Um, it's not really heavy. It doesn't have any bullets in it, but it's not really heavy, and it's really small and concealable. If I can, if I can conceal this thing, which is heavy and bulky, this thing I can conceal with no problem. All these guns I can conceal with no problem. All of them. 
you know it's you know you adapt you got you get, it's the type of shirt that you're wearing that day um i guess the way the sun and the stars are aligned i don't know uh, some days some days you just feel like you're printing too much you don't want to print too much but a little bulge ain't gonna hurt uh, just get with your local laws on that though don't don't take my advice for it but that's a nice little holster there you know i've carried this one here too i mean i carried this one for a long time and you know it's it's a nice little gun um glock 17 can't go wrong with that you know you got you know 17 rounds in the magazine one in the pipe that's 18 you know what more do you want that's it's, it's a big gun it's a lot of firepower a lot of people dog the nine millimeter i love the nine millimeter i i i really do um and i'm gonna make a separate video on why I, I would carry this big gun and you know right now I'm down to the 40 it's still got 13 rounds and one in the uh, chamber capability um, but I'll, I'll talk to about that in another video these, these little holsters are pretty nice they're really quick on the on the retention on, on the release as long as you get that finger that you're gonna want to index you're gonna want to get the combat grip on the gun you're gonna want to index the gun right away you know you don't want to have your finger on the trigger these these all have trigger guards um, so you wanna this is where your finger is gonna be you know automatically you just pull that you put you push that down and you pull and your fingers gonna stay there you know you don't want your finger right away on that trigger you know because it doesn't take long to go from here to here but if it, it, you know if you if you if you come out with your finger on the trigger and you pull that trigger and you accidentally shoot somebody you're not wanting to shoot that's gonna haunt you the rest of your life. I mean, probably even throw you in jail. So, you always want to make sure you're indexing the gun. Always, never come out with your finger on the trigger. So this this point here, it's perfect because once you once you do that, you just you just keep it you keep it level and your fingers indexed right away. And you you're on your target and you're ready to engage. Finger goes on the trigger and you're hot. Okay. You know, unless you need a racket, but, you know, that's a whole other story. But always, always, always index a gun. But this, this holster lets you do that. You know, the, it's, the, it's not the, just a retention, like these are here. These are still good. These are still good. I mean, you can, you can index a revolver, too. I mean, if you wanted to, you know, pull it out. But, you know, these are really heavy trigger pulls anyways, so... You know, I don't know, it's just practice, practice, practice. Whatever holster you're gonna get, practice with it. At home, when nobody's around, if you want, it's safer that way. No ammunition in the firearm. Uh, that's that's what I would do sometimes. Uh, just practice strong in this weapon. I would actually practice and scream. Uh, when I'd scream like, yeah. Uh, I would just, you know, scream a command, like drop the weapon. And, you want to make sure they, they they hear you so use your lungs once in a while so this is another little holster that I like to carry too that I carried for a long time um, it's a nice this is my well, this is my first paddle holster uh, with a button retention type slash deal here and how long is this video now it's eight minutes okay um, this is a nice little holster too I love this holster um, same deal I mean same principle where you wanna see it's pretty quick you just gotta tab that a little bit and by the time you're tabbing that you know you push down on that your guns are already almost coming out and, and that's what I love about Taurus is too they got this little index here I don't know if you can see this here see that little index indentation they have it on both sides so that's a good little index point my finger fits perfect on that you know, they, they made this gun for me. <laughs> well, I just say it. They made it for everybody. Whoever, whoever owns one of these is, uh, I know they're not sorry. Uh, if they own one of these, just keep it clean and everything runs really perfect. But uh, getting back to the holster, really nice. Um, it's a little, see the guns are pretty comparable. The Glock 17 and the Taurus. They're pretty comparable in size if you think about it but you know glock you know this is night tech defense you know it's just a little longer it's a little longer from here uh, which is not bad 
but this one here rides a little higher this gun actually rides just a little higher you know it, it sits in flush I mean it's got a little the barrel sticks out just a little bit but the gun sits higher uh, in your hip and I like that I like a higher higher gun uh, I don't like the muzzle showing in case you lift your arms or whatever you know you want the gun not to show um, but that's another little holster that I like uh, okay this one here I've also carried the Beretta M9 and I used to carry a I, I would carry this one before this was this was before I had any of the paddle holsters actually this was my first one that I, I decided to try you know nylon is good and but this one fits a little range range uh, holster than it is the carry holster you can carry this and I've carried it for a while um, but I don't I don't I don't, choose, I don't choose to carry it there anymore um, just because I found other other things uh, other ways of carrying you know like I said everybody's body's different and whatever makes you feel comfortable is you know do it you know a gun isn't really supposed to be comfortable it's supposed to be comforting um, and I didn't come up with that I heard it somewhere but getting down to the last holster I own, uh, I own a couple more but they're they're not you know I don't want to show you those but this one is my most comfortable my favorite holster and it's a leather holster you know a lot of people say that leather you know it's, it collapses and, and it does you know I'm not gonna stand behind leather and say it doesn't collapse because it does you got tension on this on your belt on your belt and this thing collapses um, it, it does but I mean when you're pulling out the gun it doesn't so unless you want to do drills where the where you want to in and out in and out in and out you know that's fine but you know you can practice in and out in and out with these um, but once you, once you pull the gun out you just you want the gun to come out fast as fast as humanly possible so what I like about this one is if you're gonna get your grip on it well you got your grip and you, you retention it right but if, if you're going to grab your gun your fingers gonna go to the to the brake once you break off, you already got that combat uh, grip. You pull your gun out and you're ready to rock. Ready to rock. So, I love this holster. This is my favorite holster. Uh, I bought it for like 40 bucks. It's made by Tagua. I don't know, it's kind of, it's just made in uh, Paraguay. So it's kind of a Spanish made holster. Um, I know there's better ones out there. I bought this for my XD and it worked perfect for me, so. Yeah, so I hope this video helps you in any way. Uh, just be careful what you engage when you engage it. And uh, hope you never have to use your firearm, that's for sure. Alright, thanks guys.